Welcome to the Human Being Unleashed podcast, where we redefine, realign, and reimagine what it means to be human so that you can live a life with the health, wealth, and relationships that are inherently yours. Boom! What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having yourself an absolutely wonderful day. We are going to go ahead and make your day even better by breaking down a simple, simple, simple understanding behind the dangers of affirmations. And uh, yes, I did say that right. I said danger of affirmations. Um, how can affirmations be dangerous? Well, Let's let's go ahead and let's talk about it. All right, real quick before I talk about it, go ahead and hit me with the hashtag live. If you're watching the live, if you're in the Facebook group and you're watching a replay, go ahead and hit me with the hashtag replay. And if you are not, let me repeat, if you are not in the Facebook group, go ahead, check the show notes below and join the Facebook group. And hit me if you haven't. Go ahead and hit me with a subscription, hit me with a review and a rating. We would I, we would, well, yeah, me and Nikki, we would really appreciate that. Boost this up to the algo and let's help more and more people. Now let's go ahead and let's dive into this. I had a client tell me yesterday, actually have it right here. I like to have these uh, ready for you. Yeah. I know I deserve it logically, but I'm not acting like it. Literally what he said. I know I deserve it logically, but I'm not acting like it. Where do affirmations come into the play? When Why did I bring that up? And where do affirmations come into the play when it comes on that? end? So uh, people use affirmations to uh, let's, if we're going to like fundamentally get it across, people use affirmations because they believe they're going to help them reprogram their mind and make them start believing different things. And when they believe different things, they're going to start doing different things, feeling different things, creating a different result, right? Yes, they do do that. Only if you use them properly, which most people are not using affirmations properly. This is what most people do. They feel like crap and they say, I am happy. Hoping that the statement of I am happy will help them not feel like crap, right? Or you are, um, you're broke and you're like, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire, I'm a millionaire. But you realize that you're just more and more broke, even the more and more you say, I'm a millionaire. Why is it not working? Where is the disconnect for so many people? Well, the danger lies in you trying to logically overcome your feelings. That is the danger when it comes to affirmations is you're logically, pay attention, is you're logically, with your analytical mind, you're trying to override a emotional feeling, an emotion. Remember, logic is not emotion. An emotion is not logic. That's why emotions are not logical. That's why he said, I logically know I'm deserving but I don't emotionally act. I don't act like that, right? Now, what I mean by this is, let's say you're feeling like crap and you're telling yourself, I am grateful. No, you're not. (laughs) In that moment, you feel like crap. What would do you more better? What would do you better than affirming the opposite is by vocalizing what you're actually feeling, in other words, embracing your experience, full on embracing your experience, processing what you're feeling, creating the emotional space from processing, then giving yourself an affirmation, then installing a new suggestion. This It's how you effectively create change using affirmations. More than not, 
when you feel shitty and you're saying an affirmation, a lot of the times it affirms the shitty fitting that you're going through. Let's be real. How many times have you said, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this, I'm this. But the entire time that little voice in your head was like, no, you're not. No, you're not. <laughs> That's a lie. No, you're not. No, you're not. You fucking suck. No, you're not. No, you're not. No. Like how many times does that happen? That's happening because you're saying something that your body doesn't believe. And no words, no affirmation is going to override your body's responses in that moment right there. So what do you do instead? What do you, I talked about this before on, the, on, on uh, another episode, specifically on the four ways to rewire limiting beliefs. But one of the ways to do that is to actually embracing what you're feeling, processing what you're feeling, and then, and only then, installing a brand new suggestion. Because when you do this, you actually have clearer room to create a new suggestion without resistance from your conscious mind. When you're feeling great, remember, affirmations is, you're, you're, you're really playing with neuroplasticity. You're trying to rewire your neurons in your brain through utilizing affirmations, right? Now, the way that we, the way that neur neurons can be plastic and actually be rewired is through experience and repetition. So you need to create an experience that's intense. Now, when I say intense, I do not mean an intense positive emotion or an intense negative emotion. I just mean an intense emotion. An intense emotion itself is all you need to actually change your neurons in your brain permanently. So how can you do that? Well, if you're feeling, here's a perfect example. I woke up Monday, I was getting into my affirmations. I mean, I was getting into my, my morning visualization, but for some reason I could not get into my morning visualization that day. I was like, I cannot relax. I felt so angry. I just felt angry. I could have sat there and said, oh, I'm happy, I'm happy, I'm happy. But I wasn't. I, that would have been me denying my experience. So what did I say? I said, I feel angry right now. Huh. I feel pissed. I'm just angry that I, God, you know, I, I'm, I'm so angry right now. And I couldn't figure out why I was so angry. But instead of trying to figure it out, I just felt what I felt. This is how I did that. I picked up a pillow. I screamed into the pillow. I screamed into the pillow until physical exhaustion. Oh my God, sorry guys. This guy keeps freaking blowing me up and it's getting on my nerves right now. Um, it's like there's a group chat that I do not want to be a part of, but <laughs> I got to get out of that. But um, this is what I did. Remember, instead of, instead of just trying to affirm a new reality when you feel like crap, actually make room for that new reality you're trying to affirm. A, again, back to the example before I got really interrupted. I woke up feeling very angry. Like I literally just woke up angry. I had no reason in my mind I could pinpoint why I was angry. So I wasn't trying to fill it. I mean, I wasn't trying to get to the bottom of it. I said, I'm just going to fit it. So I grabbed a, pi uh, a pillow. I screamed into it until I was physically exhausted. By the end of my screaming, I was crying. That anger just went straight to hurt and sadness. And then I cried, I scream cried into the pillow. And out came the words, I am a burden. Oh, I am a burden was hiding underneath this feeling. But I could have just said, I am enough and stacked it on top of this feeling that I'm not feeling and deepening the belief that I'm a burden because of it. But when you actually feel your stuff, the reason that the feeling is there becomes very apparent. One of the easiest ways to feel your stuff is to make noise, screaming into a pillow, 
It's a wonderful way to let your feelings bypass whatever your analytical mind is going to try to do and actually express themselves. Then when I said the words, I'm a burden, I said, oh, that's not true because I was now in a good headspace because I felt all of this stuff. I felt really free and I really opened for a little bit. And so in that moment, I was able to deal with that belief and change it by just looking at it for what it was. And it was a belief. And then when my emotional state was calm, positive, and high, then I began telling myself I'm worthy and deserving of everything that I want. But my nervous system felt congruent with it while I was saying it. So it actually led me to uh, installing that as an actual belief of mine. Because I said it and felt it at the same time. When the two become one, you can say mountain move and the mountain will move. Align your mind and your body. And you're giving an affirmation. Make sure you feel it actually. And the number one way to feel it is to stir that feeling up before you give the affirmation. If you want to stir that feeling up before you give the affirmation. I talk about this a lot. But just go revisit a past memory where you felt really confident. Close your eyes, revisit a past memory where you're feeling really confident. And then, and only then, do you do the affirmation. You do not start affirming a reality that's completely opposite of what you're experiencing on an emotional level. With the hopes that you're going to get rid of or affirm that emotion out of you. You cannot affirm an emotion out of you. You can only feel an emotion out of you. There's no other time that you should be using affirmations other than when you are feeling clear, cool, calm, collected, happy, and intense positive emotion. Because then and only then can you actually change your brain. In the way you want it to. So don't just give yourself affirmations. Be intentional with your state before you do so. And then they'll actually work. Okay. So hope that helped you out. If it didn't, I am sorry for wasting the last, what, 10 minutes, 12 minutes of your time. So sorry. If you found it valuable, go ahead and hit me with the hashtag value in the comment section. Go ahead and let me know what you learned from this show in the reviews. Hit me with the subscription again. Go ahead and uh, I already said leave a review. I already said leave a subscription, leave a rating. I was trying to figure out which other thing to say, but hope you found this episode valuable, guys. I had a jam. I just want to say, get ready, get ready, get ready for more and more and more amazing guests coming up. Guys, I'm just giddy with the people I have lined up for you guys. So, all right, guys, this is, this is specifically for the podcast, the, the guest part. All right. But aside from that, you guys have an awesome freaking Friday and enjoy your weekend. Crush your day. Remember, you are freaking amazing in everything that you do and fill it.